I'm Lauren Williams, and I'm a level 10 gymnast at Aspire Gymnastics. I started gymnastics around age five. My parents put me in gymnastics because I started crawling on everything, and my parents just felt like it was a safe environment for me to crawl around and just explore my talents, and so I just caught into gymnastics really quickly, and then that's when it all began. So my favorite skill is called a double-double, and it's where you do two flips and two twists in the air. So your first flip, you do a twist, and your second flip, you do a full twist. And so that's on floor, that's my favorite. Floor is my favorite event probably because I get to go out there and just like dance and have fun. It's probably my best event too, so I love like tumbling and just going out there and going big and going home. The scariest skill is called a Maloney on bars where you do a toe hand and then you let go of the low bar and you catch the high bar. The easiest skill that I do is probably the vault your chinko full. So basically a round off by cans bring onto the table and then you do a full off. Every time I get a question it's like, are you good at gymnastics? Like can you do a backflip right now? So every time I swear and then some people will ask me like, can you teach me a backflip right now? And be like, mm, well, <laughs> it's kind of tricky. I wake up around 6 o'clock for school and I head to school around 7.15 and then I, once I leave school I go straight home and I eat lunch and then I take a nap, I take a nap every day um, and then I go straight to practice from 4.30 to 8.30 and then once I'm done with practice I go home and then I shower, eat, go to sleep and then do it all over again. Balancing school and gymnastics and friends is kind of difficult but I've it's definitely gotten easier over the years like whenever I have gymnastics I have to make a lot of sacrifices with friends like instead of going hang out with my friends on a Friday night I have to go to the gym and practice and it's definitely hard but it's 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 okay. For example prom is coming up and I'll be out of town at a gymnastics meet and so I'll have to miss my first prom and so that kind of sucks. I think my least favorite part of gymnastics is probably the five hour practices on Saturday mornings. I do not like those and over the summer that's what we'll do is five hours every morning and I definitely dread that. And I think the amount of hours and not being with my friends is kind of like the thing that is I've always crossed between like do I want to do gymnastics or do I want to spend my time with my friends. Like it's just the hard battle that I play every day. The Olympics was definitely like an option, it was definitely a thought, it was definitely something I was training for. There was a summer I trained 35 hours a week. I was going 5 hours in the morning and 2 hours in the afternoon and I had a lunch break in between. And I was training for the Olympics. I basically, you have to train and qualify to, through all these levels and then I had qualified for all of them and then I broke my arm and so then I wasn't able to keep going. I like dreamed of going to the Olympics and competing internationally and doing all those big things and it kind of set a stone in it. It was fine because I just, the hours was not ideal and if I were to carry through with the Olympics and joining the national team and qualifying for that, then I wouldn't have been able to go to school and do the social things that I like doing now. You can either choose to go pro, what they call it, so you, you sign and you sign like with sponsors and therefore you're not eligible to go to college gymnastics because they pay you to do college gymnastics, but you're getting paid to also do the, like go to the Olympics and like have sponsors. And so you kind of have to pick like, you can compete in the Olympics and you can compete pro without being sponsored. And so they just don't allow you to be paid both ways and they call it like pro. Around ninth grade, I started reaching out and emailing college coaches, but the rule is that the college coaches are not allowed to verbally talk to you, but you're allowed to email them. And so I was emailing a bunch of college coaches around freshman year, and then sophomore year, I'd gotten a uh, recruiting like lady. So she helped me like recruit, and she helped me like get my name out there and help me understand like what I need to send out and how often I have to. So I was sending emails about every weekend to college coaches. I picked like my top 10 schools that I would send emails to every weekend. And I'll just kind of give them an update, like what's going on and how I'm feeling and just how interested I am in the school. Instagram's probably the main recruitment process. So I have my own gymnastics account that I created and I posted videos to like update them and like update on meets and practice. And that's what the college coaches would go watch. And I would give them like my Instagram and my emails and tell them all about it. So, and then June 15th before your junior year is the date that you can verbally commit and college coaches can legally like talk to you and according to the NCAA rules. And so June 15th is the earliest you can commit. And I committed on June 15th when I they called me, Jordan Weaver called me and she offered me a full ride scholarship to the U of A. And I verbally committed and I said, I wanna go. And 
Arkansas was my number one school choice. Jordan Weaver was my idol growing up. Like I had a huge fat head of her above my bed. It was of her doing the splits and it was like this big fat head. I loved it. And so growing up, I just admired her and I watched everything about her. I watched all the Olympics she went to and I watched her train, her training videos. And it was just so cool. And then as soon as I found out she's coming to the University of Arkansas to be the head coach, I was like, I have to go there. We're number eight right now. And so that's a big deal. And I just, I love that it's close to home, but it's like, far enough to where I'm still getting the college experience and yeah but I think Jordan Weaver kind of tied the deal for Arkansas. I'm not really worried about balancing school and college just because they give you they offer you so many tutors and so many like aids to help you get through your school and make sure your grades aren't bad. Definitely through like all the hard times and all the sacrifices I'm so glad that I've stuck with gymnastics and I was able to push myself to now be where I am today and I just can't wait to go do college gymnastics for the University of Arkansas so yes.